In Tehran, protesters chanted death to the dictator and called for the resignation of Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei. They held vigils for the victims of Flight PS752. The plane en route to Kiev was shot down shortly after takeoff. Iranian officials say it was a disastrous mistake, following the U.S. killing of an Iranian commander and retaliatory strikes. Meanwhile, Iran lawmakers have denied a cover-up and vowed to investigate the crash. Amid soaring international tensions, the leader of Qatar has arrived in Tehran, calling for peaceful solutions. The country is close to the U.S., but also has strong ties with Iran. World leaders have called for a full investigation into the disaster, with Canada's Prime Minister saying people are demanding answers and accountability. I think there are many conclusions that we will be drawing as we uh, move forward and reflecting on these incidents of the past week. Uh, our focus right now is on ensuring that we are giving all the support necessary to families who have suffered immeasurable loss. In Ukraine, officials say they are investigating possible willful killing and aircraft destruction in their probe of the crash. The president is calling for the bodies of victims to be returned to Ukraine by the end of next week. I will return all the dead to their families. They will be able to say goodbye to them humanely. We honor their memory. All perpetrators will be punished. We will give back to Ukrainians not only a sense of security and justice, but also certainty that Ukraine will always protect them in any corner of the planet. Iran may have taken responsibility for such a tragic error, but there is still much anguish and grief that innocent lives were lost, and the diplomatic consequences may be severe. Analyst Peter Zalmayev says Ukraine is once again entangled in international political disputes. You know, Ukraine may be used, and this tragedy may be used uh, as a political tool in this tug of war between Iran and the U.S. So it's a very good question. Ukrainians are very wary of once again being used uh, as a, some kind of a tool of pressure. The Ukrainian government has allocated an initial amount of around $8,000 to the families of the Ukrainian victims, but they admit no amount of compensation will dull the pain. For now, prayer and mourning continues. Jessica King, CGTN, Kiev.